Okay. So in question number one, it said that you had the medians of a triangle that intersect at point G. So G is the centroid. It then gave you the length of CF is 24. Remember, the relationship between FG to GC is a 1 to 2 ratio. Or you can think about dividing it up into thirds. So if I use segment addition, X plus 2X equals 24. Combine like terms, divide by 3, and X is 8. So that means FG is 8. And 2 times 8, GC is uh, 16. So the correct answer, what is the length of FG? FG is 8. And number 2, we have the in-center. And remember, when you draw a circle with the in-center, the circle is inside or inscribed within the triangle. Okay? So the first statement, the first part of that question states that if point T is the in-center, then point T is the point of concurrency of the angle bisectors. And we need to find the length of ST. Now ST is the segment drawn from the center to the outside of the circle, which is the radius. And if we look, they do give us the measure of another radius. WT is 15, and we know that all radii are congruent, so therefore ST is also 15. And not only is ST 15, but the third radius of the circle, TU, is also 15. So when I'm trying to find X in the next part of the question, I can substitute for the length of TU 15 and solve for X. So we add 1, we get 16. Divide by 2, and x is 8. Now going back to the angle bisector part of that question. Okay. So that had to deal with the segments formed, or the in-center being equidistant from the sides of the triangle. Now the angle bisector part. So the measure of angle PRT. So tracing it, PRT. This angle right here is 24. Then find the measure of QRT. So that would also be 24 because T is the in-center and this segment right here is an angle bisector. So the measure of QRT is 24 degrees. And then now, let me grab a different color. We're going to look at the last part which says that RPQ so R, P, Q, this whole angle is 62 degrees. And we need to find the measure of R, P, T, which is this half. Because P, T is an angle bisector, which is going to divide it into two congruent angles. And 62 divided by 2 is 31 degrees. Last, it says in the diagram, the perpendicular bisectors. They are shown with the dashed segments of triangle ABC meet at point G, which is the circumcenter. And remember, uh, the circle here is circumscribed about the triangle. So it's equidistant from the vertices. So this segment AG is equal to or congruent to BG. It's also congruent to uh, GC. So this is 25. BG is also 25 and AG is also 25. So we have the answer to the first part of that question. We need to find the length of CF. So CF, let's highlight CF. That's the segment right here. And this segment is congruent to segment FA. So if FA is 24, CF is also 24. Looking at CE. CE is the segment here, which is congruent to BE. So if BE is 15, CE is also 15. The length BD. Now BD is the segment here on the remaining side of the triangle, which is congruent to AD. So if AD is 20, 
BD is also 20. We're looking now for the length of segment AB. So now AB all the way across 2 times 20 is 40. And the length of segment AC, so double 24 and we get 48. Looking at the measure of angle ADG, so let's trace ADG. So this angle right here, well, DG was dotted, I just traced over it, so therefore it's a perpendicular bisector making this a 90 degree angle or a right angle because it's a perpendicular bisector and perpendicular lines intersect to form right angles. So if the length of BG is represented by the expression 2x minus 15, then find the value of x. So once again, we said that BG was a radius of the circle. So therefore, we're going to set or replace BG with 25, set that equal to the expression 2x minus 15. Add the 15 over, we get 40. Divide by 2, and x is 20.